Hey, hi, hello, and howdy. It's me, Mushy, and you're you. Hello, you. And we're here at Dark and Creepy Diamond Painting for... Oh, gosh, what do we even call this? An unboxing... I don't have the box, though, because uh, Grubby Hands <laughs> got greedy and got into it. But um, a reveal? Should we call this a grand opening reveal? of a new 3D tray printing shop. They do print other things too, but Mushy's interested in the tray aspect. Yes, yes. So, so where do we even start? Oh, <laughs> um, I guess we'll start by introducing you to the company. I present to you my fine diamond painting friends, Ephemera 3D. Yay! <laughs> Get your hands out of the way, Mushy. Let's see the goods. Okay, you guys, we're up close in the nitty gritty. I present to you Ephemera 3D. Yes, these trays. Well, first, before I get into like all the deets, let's talk about the important stuff. Who? Who is Ephemera 3D? And why haven't we heard of them yet? Let me tell you a little story while we soak in the beauty that we have right here. So Ephemera 3D is a new to the diamond painting community uh, 3D printing company. It, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you a secret. This company, Ephemera 3D, is an Etsy shop. They are new to the diamond painting world, sort of. Prior to pr printing these trays, uh, Ephemera 3D was doing other things not diamond tray related and um, got into a tr the tray printing partially due to wife strong arming <laughs> and you'll know why when I tell you who it is wife strong arming but what I my understanding is is kind of what prompted this is I was diamond painting I had unboxed some trays and I was taking one of my new trays not from this company uh, but another company and I was taking one of my new trays out on its maiden voyage to come diamond paint with me and on first use Mushy's heart got broken because Mushy's tray broke a part of Mushy's tray broke on first use and it wasn't the first time that I had had a tray break and uh but I was particularly heartbroken about this one and I posted a picture of my my broken hearted experience in my tray and I was so bummed and this couple who um, created Ephemera 3D saw my post and just surprised me out of the blue and said, you know, hey, Mushy, we're subscribers. We love your channel. And, and we saw that you broke your, your tray. And what's a diamond painter without a tray? So let us make you a tray. And I was like, are you sure? And they said, yes, I, you know, we want to do this for you. And I'm like, Okay, and um, fast forward a couple weeks, ba boom! This package with these goodies came from Ephemera 3D for Mushy. But spoiler, we'll talk about it at the end of the video for some prize giveaways too. Um, two of these trays, and I'll show you which ones are going to be included. One in each of the 666 giveaway prize packages. Eee! Okay, but more about that later. So let's talk about these trays and ephemera. So um, I guess I'll just let the cat out of the bag, so to speak. This company comes to us from our very own Kit Kat Patty Whack and Wolfman Crab Arms. Married couple, subscribers of the channel, here from the beginning. They hang out with us on Twitch while we play games too. And yay! Good job, you guys. I'm excited for this. Yes. Um, and as you know, Kit Kat is a diamond painter also. So 
uh, I'm pretty sure, you know, she put an earwig in Wolfman Crabarm's ear about making her some trays. Then they saw my tray broke. And then they were like, Mushy can't not have a tray. She's a diamond painter. So they sent me some of their trays. Now, these are prototypes. Okay. They are the prototypes. But I have been testing these for several days now. And I am super impressed. I can't find a gosh diddly darn thing wrong with them but we're gonna go over all the features and everything uh together and you guys can take a look see what you think and you know we'll talk about it in the comments yeah! so let's look okay where do we start oh my gosh I feel like this is one of my my coaster videos like which one do I start with let's start with the personalized one because um I'm mushy and one says mushy so <laughs> let's start there this tray model is called totem so this is the totem tray can you guys see why I see it can you check it out so if you look at like think about a totem pole right and totem poles generally have, you know, the effigies on them. And you can see like a big, maybe open mouth and the like nose. Here are the eyes. It's got the head. You know, it looks like, you know, one section of a totem. How cool is that? So that was a very clever name in my opinion. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is a copper silk filament, which happens, by the way, to be my favorite color of life, copper. <laughs> um, and this tray, let's look at its features. So we have the drill, active drill compartment. So, you know, pour your drills in. There is some nice, listen, nice deep solid lines here to line up your drills. So when you shake them, line them up. They line up real nice here. In fact, let me grab some drills. And with the power of movie magic, I have created drills in there in the video. Yay! <laughs> All right, so I've got myself some drills from my put a ring on it kit and just kerplunk. We're gonna put some in here. And then we're gonna shake. Let's see. Mushy, prove it works. Prove it works. Look at that. Beautiful lined up beautifully love it shake it some more if you want to i'm a i'm i'm an aggressive shaker so i'm being nice i mean i'm being nice right now so that we can get some nice lines and you can see but usually i'm just all <laughs> um but there you go shaking up the drills they line up really nice and one of the cool features about this tray is it has deeper sides so if you are an aggressive shaker like miss mushikins here uh, you know, a shake to your heart's content, you guys. They're, they're they're trapped. They're contained. They're not going anywhere. Produces us some nice lines for multi-placing or single placing. Yes. I'm a single place and mama, but occasionally I do multi-place. And then it has this nose nub in here, right? What does that do? You unscrew it and then you can pour okay i'm done now i want to pour my drills out and look at there tippity tap pour 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 and voila okay so um what magic did mushy just do there i'll show you so this tray also features a lidded storage compartment currently i was able to pour out the drills because i have the pour spout on. It has a removable pour spout that you can put on. So no matter what kind of container you're using, whether it's jar, Tic Tac, E-Ward style, it, this will fit into any of them. I have tested, it does work. And then you put the lid on, you know, to make sure nothing falls out and it just, whoop, poured right in there, right? And so you saw, yeah, magic, more magic. I had left this by my diamond painting. <laughs> but um, you, you know, can pour your drills out when you're done with this handy dandy pour spout. And it has a nice lid that you can one thumb and you can move it back and forth. But listen, you guys, 
it snaps into place and that is secure. Look at me shake this. Like it is secure. It's not going to come off. See, I mean, I'm, <clears throat> I'm trying. It's on there, but it's also easy to one thumb it. So, um, and it does snap into place. I have, I'm sorry, Wolfman Crab Arms, but uh, you asked me to test and I tested. I have just sat here for, I was watching TV annoying the ever living crap out of my family because I was doing this for a couple hours. <laughs> I wanted to see, you know, is it going to wear down? And um, a couple hours of nonstop doing this. Am I annoying anyone yet? <laughs> and it still snaps right into place, snaps right out of place doesn't shimmy jiggy wiggle off so nice and secure lid another thing I love about this lid aside from the fact that it has my name on it <laughs> wishy, is you guys um I wish I could show you more clearly but you you have to take my word for it this is a solid lid you can't see through this there um, have been trays that have passed through my hands where the lids are so thin that you can like see through it and they kind of bend and give. Look at this. There is no bend and give. None. This is a solid lid. It's not going to snap, crackle, pop on you because I have had that happen to me before where a lid is just so thin that like light comes through it and stuff and like you kind of bend at it or even just in regular use, you know, snapping it in and out of place, too much pressure with your thumb right there and it just plink breaks. Not this one. I've, I've been, I've been, I've been beating my tray up, you guys. <laughs> I've been beating it up trying to, sorry, Wolfman Crab Arms, I've been trying to break it. <laughs> That's my confession. I've been trying. <laughs> And I can't. It's mushy proof, which if it's mushy proof, then you guys, it's, you know, like Fort Knox and stuff. So, uh, cause I can break darn near anything, but, um, yeah, so far so good. No breakage. Now how the tray comes in its natural state of being is with this little nub in here. Okay. And this is your little blocker mushy. Could you? nail life you guys um little blocker here that i have inserted okay and the intent of this is okay your diamond painting maybe you you like a storage component to your tray so uh maybe you got some color blocking or you know you oh crud the dogs need to go out Ugh. i'm right in the middle of diamond painting and the dogs need to go out so what you do is you keep you put your little blocker wall on there Put your lid on. You unscrew your screw nub in here to open up this wall that's in here to keep the sections, the active section from the storage section separate. Uh, you open it up, pour it on in. Okay, I got it. Okay, dogs, I'm coming. <laughs> you know, I know you need to go. Screw it right on in there, nice and tight. And voila, they're held in there and stored. They aren't going to come out that end. They aren't going to come out that end. They are tucked away for you in there. And then you can resume your activities when you're done taking the bark machines out or whatever it is that drew you away. Or you could, you know, you're done for the night, but you know you're going to do this color when you get up in the morning. Leave it right in there. Nice, safe. You got a cat. You got a kid. You got a dog. And you're like, oh, they're going to, you know, come by and bonk it. Okay, let them. Those drills ain't coming out. Right? I don't see any. Bright white. We'd see it. There you go. Right? Okay, and then you're like, well, I'm dumb. I finished all this color last night. I don't need this color. I need to put it back, the extras back in the container. So then we we'll put the funnel attachment on put the lid on because I mean you don't have to but uh I know me I'll make a mess if I don't and then pour it voila you you've just stored your stuff yep and in on in all honesty I've been using I've, I've been doing a confetti sort of heavy situation a couple of them and so I've been leaving this one on I haven't been using the storage compartment as much for storage 
Um, I've just been leaving the funnel part on because I find that that's how I personally use the tray most frequently lately with the diamond paintings that I'm using, but it's nice to have the storage component here because um, you all have heard about my bark machines. And so sometimes, you know, when duty calls, literally, uh, it is nice to be able to have this storage compartment and know that um, my drills are safe and confined until I get back. So there you go. Uh, the lid does fit on there with the funnel attachment too. So that's nice. But Mushy, tell us more. Tell us more about like some of these features. Again, like I said, this is a deep well. For aggressive shakers, this is really a deep, thicker well. And it, I notice it has this lip on the end right here. So even if you're like, you're aggressive, aggressive with it, right? And you're shaking and you're like bopping them down to get them lined up. Even if one of them had a thought of being a jumper, this lip on the on this edge here would catch it and throw it right back in the pool. There is nobody escaping this one, okay? Um, and another really neat feature that I touched on is this turn knob. I have never seen anything like this in another tray. It, could it be out there? It could be. I mean, I can't claim to have seen every tray on the planet, but I've never seen it. And you can unscrew it, and I don't know if I can, like... There, let me try to see. You screw it down and it closes off the section, right? And it's my understanding that it was designed this way so that you could, let's just say like, oh, you know, I had my white ones in here and here, we'll just do a, let me, let Mushy get all, you know, scientifical on you, right? Let me put my wall in. I don't, I don't want a desktop full of, um, white drills to kind of clean up but all right so we're secure and let's just say I just need a couple so I unscrewed this you know just a just a smidgy poop to, just a little opening up in there just a little bit and like let me get a couple no you know what I I missed all five million of those uh you know spots on my canvas there's way more than I thought let me get some more oh no you know, I have a whole section of this. What was I thinking? Let me pour out the rest. I didn't put too many in there, but you know, so you can see, let me just open the floodgates and pour out the rest. You guys, I like that. I like that feature. And then, you know, I can, oh, I just need a couple to go. I had a jumper. I had a jumper. I just need a couple to go in there, you know, or I need them all to go in there. You know, you can open it to your, I, I guess, basically to your flow desire. However you'd like to see the drills flow back and forth, whether all of them, bring all of them, bring them all, or just bring some of them, bring them slow, bring them fast. That's what this adjustable knob is for. And I'm here for it. Now, um, I have not attempted to do this, but I did get super secret visual knowledge yes here let me show you so if you unscrew this component from there if you'll notice there's con a concave area here so if you know you're you're shifting drills back and forth in the tray um but maybe one of them and you don't see it one of them got is stuck halfway in limbo you know like in between the two sections and you don't realize it and you start screwing it down this will catch it and not hurt your drill. So it's concave to, in case there are a little hider sneakers in here that you didn't see and you go to close up shop and you screw this down, your drills won't get injured and it won't shoot them. You know, like if it was flat and it came down on a drill, that drill would either get damaged, scuffed, uh, or go flying, get shot like a, like a bullet off somewhere. So yeah, you guys, there you go. And then it's just as simple as zoop, 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 screwing it back on. Now, um, what else, Moshi, like, what are those little eye things? So these, these eye portions of the tray, you can put wax in there. So you dip your pin in your wax. You could put trash drills in here. You could put, um, 
oh my gosh, like I found a random color over here. I'm not sure which one it is. I'm not, it's not the one I'm using right now. You could put your, your mystery drills in one side, your trash in another, your wax in here and some trash. You can do whatever you want with these. And if you look on the back, there are finger holes, but look, I have this upside down and yeah, obviously if there was something in here, it might fall out having it upside down. Duh. But what's not falling out, you guys? Do you see what's not falling out? The, the compartments themselves are not falling out. But this is how easy it is. Boink. Boink. Pop them right out. You can pop them right out very easily. I did that with my flimsy fingernail. Um, and then when you're done emptying it out or whatever, you can put them right back in. Boink. Just like that. And look. They're secure in there, but again, just boink, boink, take them right out. And then shapes are hard, mushy. There you go. Turn it. <laughs> Can somebody tell that mushy was not good at that little kid's game where you put the shape in the right, you know, the little peg in the right shape. <laughs> that was me as a kid, derp. But no, um, that's that's the tray, you guys. Ephemera 3D. Look at this. This is like a copper silk situation. My favorite color. Another feature that I should mention on this lid. See, I've been kind of just, you know, doing the lid with my thumb like this because I was wanting to test like the strength of the middle part of the lid because on some trays with lids, that's where mine tend to break from doing this. They get weak, they're weaker and thinner and so eventually they start cracking and stuff and that's why I've been you know trying to f with this <laughs> just to see is it strong enough for mushy but um it does have a little lip here for you to use if you feel more comfortable and safe using this lip or you know if you have a sensory nerve issue and you can't really feel like you know the pressure that you're putting or uh, you have some numbness or something there is a lip here for you to grab onto with that what do you think you guys I am in love I am in love with this tray this is me being a little bit selfish starting with the tray with my name on it but you guys saw there are other trays yes so why don't we take a look at those now um, I do hear that there are other models of trays, other designs in the works and will be available soon um, that are different from this. And by the way, you can put your attachment in your little storage thing and slide the lid right on and it won't hurt anything and you won't lose it. So that's a fun little feature fact. But um this is not the only color tray, as you guys saw. Now, we we have been asked, you guys, we have been tasked as we go through these trays. I have a job for you. Your job, my dear viewers, is to leave in the comments below what color of trays would you like to see? If you could be the chooser of colors of trays, what what would you, you know, what would you pick? What color of tray would you pick? It doesn't have to be one that I'm showing you. It can be whatever your brain concocts up as your favorite color. Like, oh, I would love that tray if it was in blank color. That is your job you've been tasked with. Uh, inquiring minds want to know what are some popular colors. What would you like to see? I am happy with this. I'll show you another one that I'm really happy with the color because you guys know me, I'm allergic to color. But this one, I, you know, I don't know the technical name of the color, but to my eyeballs, it's like a brown. It's got two tone almost. There's a brownish lid and a brownish interior, but then this is like a brownish um, green to me. Like it has a hint of green in there. I, I just, I don't know, but you know me, you guys, I love, love earth tone colors. I am a Taurus, so, uh, and I am allergic to color. So this is right up my alley, but this is another, just to give you a comparison of that between the copper, but this is another total mushy love fest color right here. 
Um, this is the same tray, exactly the same features and everything. It's got the lip here. It's got the screw, you know, flow adjuster, divider wall situation. We do have our two little removable compartments here to use how you'd like. It does have the same lid with a lip, same compartment. It does come with its multi uh, container friendly funnel that you just, you know, pop that right on to, to pour your drills back into the container. And if you want to use it as a storage area instead, pop your wall back on. You guys look at this. And I really, I really like the kind of two toned nature of this. You guys, I'm like loving the two tone nature of this. And put our little funnel right in there and voila. And again, we've got ephemera 3D engraved on the side so you know who you're dealing with. I I really like this one too. I <laughs> mushy wanty. But mushy can't have because bow, 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 spoiler. <laughs> this is going to be one of the trays in one of the two giveaway kits. And um I sort of I'm sort of a little bitter about it, uh, to be honest, because I really like this color too, but this is my favorite color and it has my name on it. So of course I'm keeping this, but I sort of really wanted to be greedy and keep this too, because, um, this is another color of life and I love it, but I guess I have to share with you guys. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm happy to, I'm happy to. The next tray that I have here, if you guys can see here, um, well, let me find the camera. If you guys can see here, it says sundown. This is sundown's tray and how fitting because uh, it's my understanding that it just sort of happened because this is like one of those kind of almost like rainbow filament things that, you know, changed from one color to another as the tray is being printed. But it just so happens that it worked out to look like a sunset and sundown, sunset, get it? Yeah. Oh, sundown has been using this one. He has been so excited and thrilled. And again, this is the same um, type of tray. But yeah, this is like one of the rainbow uh, sort of color change, you know, color melding filaments, color It doesn't change color, but you know what I mean? Gradient color gradient filaments so yeah and it's got the lid and it's got the the multi container friendly pour spout and the wall just like mine and the other one did and it's got its two little um trash compartments here boing boing Boy, I, I tried to take my own eye out with that, didn't I? I did that one with some gusto. <laughs> but yes, and then the screw. Yeah, you guys. Beautiful. This is beautiful. What do you guys think of this color? What, look at the gradient. So beautiful. And these trays are so sturdy. I mean, if it can withstand my intentional abuse... I'm sorry, Wolfman. I'm so sorry, but it's the sad truth. I did, I did abuse these trays intentionally because you asked me to test them. Oh, I tested them. <laughs> I, I may or may not cannot confirm or deny that I dropped this on the floor several times from my standing height of 5'5". Five five. E. <laughs> and, and not a scratch, in case you were wondering. <laughs> um... But yes, you guys, and, and this did come with another color lid. Um, Sundown has squirreled it away from me, uh, so I cannot show it to you in the immediate. But the the lid that um, he also got to go with this is like the darker blue one. And he's been switching them out. He's like, oh, okay, I'll do an orange for a while. And then just out of nowhere, he'll just be like, yeah, I got the blue on here. <laughs> But you guys, this is not in the giveaway because this is Sundowns and trust me, you don't want to fight the man for it. He's been loving this tray. So then imagine my shock and surprise when we dig some more in the box 
and look at this beautiful blue silk one and as you can see it says alv on it which is al's um like twitch handle and i believe what she goes by on youtube and tiktok that's her nickname alv for alveo nacy but they engraved her name on here too which is so cool and she's been using this one while she's working on bad moon there we see again ephemera 3d on the side and you guys look at this beautiful color i hope i'm getting the color shift like the not a color shift but like the the shine see the beauty of this this is beautiful and with with as with the other trays it's the same thing the removable wall the multi you know container friendly pour spout the lid goes right on here and the screw divider and your you know removable trash isn't that gorgeous Oh, you guys, so in love, so in love. And then here's another one. This is just like Owls. And we were so impressed and loved the colors of this so much that, um, and because Owl got, got her dream color with her name on it, I was like, this would be a really nice one for bow, 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 the other giveaway package. So yes, this is the other tray, ephemera totem model tray that one of you lucky people are going to get in the giveaway. So yeah, here's, here's the two giveaway trays. I sort of, I sort of really don't want to give any of them away, but especially not my favorite. Okay. But yeah, I, I love you guys more than, than to be greedy so just know that um i will cry real tears when the packages get mailed off when we determine a winner and then the last one i have to show you uh oh i'm keeping this one you guys know mushy's allergic to color right and you guys look at the color on this but look at this shift Look at this shift. And this is a limited edition one because you guys, the filaments for these are kind of hard to work with. They're kind of costly. They're hard to get your hands on is my understanding. So this is kind of like a limited edition. I assume that maybe if there's enough request for it, you might be able to convince Wolfman to print some more of this sort of nature. Um, but, you know, it's, it, this one's a limited edition. I got the limited edition prototype. And look at the shine. And it's got greens in here. You turn it one way, it's green. You turn it another way, purple. We got blue and pink. But I choose to ignore the pink. Um, the pink is brief and, uh, and overlookable for this nice little rainbow filament. Yeah, you guys, I couldn't part with this one, which is shocking considering like my aversion to color. But this, this is making my, you know, this just make, make a girl juicy. I love this. So, um, you know, same, same features, got the lip here, got the lip here. Um, I have been playing around with this one as well, but yes, look at that. So gorgeous you guys and then check this out the coffin was a gift sent to me by kit kat and wolfman crab arms is not his original design or creation credit to the original design artist will be given in the description box below but how cool is this tray this is one of like a more simple design tray it's a coffin it's in my favorite color um and you open it up and you've got your ergonomic, you know, shaker tray situation with a stopper. Take the stopper out to pour your drills out. Put your stopper back in. And it's just a little, you know, set on top lid. But look, it's got the, you know, coffin symbols in here and the cross there. How cool is that? super cool this is a fun little tray especially if you like your area decorated and this is going to be really good for kit ups and kit downs when i just you know need a, a tray of pouring life real quick um 
or a catcher tray, a tray of safety, this is going to be great. And I, uh, you are going to see this in videos. You are going to see me using it. Um, now he did send a cover minder that some of you on the Facebook page in the Facebook group saw, but I can't show it here, but just know it exists. <laughs> Some of you know the secret, but you, you know, you also know why I can't show it. Um, so guys, what do we think? Look at these beautiful, beautiful trays. I am in love. I am in love. Great job, Kit Kat Patty Whack and Wolfman Crab Arms over at Ephemera 3D Printing. You guys have really outdone yourselves. And after several days of testing, I don't have a single complaint. Not a single one. There's nothing that's come loose. There's nothing that's broken. There's nothing that's stuck. I, like I said, I beat this one. I'm sorry true story, but I beat this one to death trying to hurt it. I tried to hurt it and I couldn't. And mushy can hurt and destroy darn near anything accidental or intentional. <laughs> and this one is impervious. Um, and all of these, you know, Al's pretty rough with her stuff. You know how kids are. They, they're pretty rough with anything they put their hands on. She hasn't, you know, been able to to hurt this one um not even scratch or scuff it she's been using that one and sundown you know with his big man hands has been using this one and and he hasn't you know no harm has come to the tray and all three of us were really kind of trying to nitpick these trays just to give feedback because you can't you know you can't grow if you don't get feedback and I feel bad because we really haven't had much feedback to give. We've had some other ideas like, hey, you know, if you're going to make other models, check, you know, could you check into trying this kind or that feature or whatever. But as far as like constructive criticism on these trays, we haven't been able to really come up with anything between the three of us. And this one, this one right here, this person named on here. She's a be a be a. So like if there was something that she could say negative, oh, she'd say it. And she couldn't, she couldn't come up with a single, you know, boo thumbs down feature or aspect or problem with the tray at all. And, and she ain't shy. She'd have told him. So yeah, you guys, ephemera 3D printing brought to you by our own Kit Kat Patty Whack and Wolfman Crab Arms. Thank you guys. Oh, you guys have been so great and it was super kind of you to send me over these trays. I want to remind you guys though that these are prototypes. Wolfman Crab Arms is like a super smart dude. I did get to talk to him on the phone a little bit so I could get some information. A uh, super smart guy and always brain going trying to think of ways to improve features improve materials improve you know designs so like i said what you see here are the prototypes of the totem let me break in here and also add very quickly that they are that was my dog sorry they are a new startup company and right now it is um kind of a one man doing the manual labor Wolfman is printing these on his own by himself. Why aren't you helping him, Kit Kat? Come on, girl, get off the diamond painting and on the printer. No, I'm just kidding. But keep in mind that he is a kind of a one-man show in that department. But definitely check out the shop. With that in mind, um, I these I have not had any problems at all and he is out of prototype phase if I was my understanding is correct and has you know new release coming to his Etsy shop so I'll link the Etsy shop on down below and it should appear like magic somewhere on the screen for you guys. Go check them out. Show our fellow subbies some love and like I said these two trays cry okay yes these two trays maybe no definitely okay uh are going to be featured one in each giveaway package so yay you guys um and really i think that's all oh 
I should probably tell you the price. I believe at last check, the price is set at $25, but eh, listen, $25, but free shipping. And that's Ephemera 3D. So you can get your tray, your totem tray for $25, free shipping on Etsy. Go check them out, you guys. Show our fellow subbies some love. Let them know what you think of the trays. And definitely leave in the comments below what colors would you like to see. We need to know, you guys. We need to know what color is, is in for this season. What's this season's fashion color? <laughs> all right, you guys. That's all I got for you for now. And we'll see you in the next one. Love you guys at Ephemera. Thank you. Stay naughty.